Hey, how's things going? So, here's my topic today. You know, I'm one of those people who happens to like motivational quotes. I have found out that I'm actually pretty quotable. I've gone through my business blog and I started way back in, well, basically I'll say 2005, even though on my business blog, the posts are dated 2006 when I started because I lost a whole bunch of things when my original hosting company basically crashed and died and I had to recover everything. But I've gone back through and I have found out that I'm pretty quotable. I think probably everyone is pretty quotable, but most people don't think that they are, so they don't go back and look through their own stuff. So what I did is I went back through a lot of my content and I've made it all the way through basically October 2009. <laughs> so I still have six years of posts to go through on the business blog. And at some point, I'm going to look through my I'm Just Sharing blog to see if I've said anything that I think is quotable there. But on the other blog, it's more geared towards leadership types of things and motivational things. And on I'm Just Sharing, I do do some motivational posts. So most probably, I've got some things, some little bits of wisdom that I've said that might not be so bad. Now, I do a couple of things with those quotes. One of the things I do is that I will put them on Facebook, on my business page, and I'll add an image to it. Because people love sharing motivational quotes if they have pictures with them. So what I do is I put it on my business page, and then I let it sit there for maybe a week or so. And then I will take one, and I will just pop it in during the day and see how many people actually view it. Now, I don't necessarily know that everyone sees it. It comes back saying sometimes I get 73 views, 100 views. One of them actually got almost 300 views. I was stunned. But just because it got that many views, if no one ever shares it, I really don't know what happens to it. But still, I take what I can get. I also share my quotes on Twitter. Sometimes I add a picture, sometimes I don't. It turns out that by using TweetDeck, if I have a quote that's less than, well, let me see, let me rephrase that. If I have a quote and I still have more than 25 characters left, I can actually add an image to it if I feel like it. I don't have to, but I can. If there's less than that many uh, characters, then it just makes it way too big. So you can't you can go that route. Now, I like I said, I like to use my own things, but I have some others that I like. I mean, I, okay, I'm a big Harry Potter guy, so I quote a lot of Dumbledore stuff. I can't help it. I'm not necessarily as big a Star Wars guy, although I love Star Wars, so I quote Yoda all the time. I'm a major Star Trek guy, so I quote Captain Kirk, I quote Mr. Spock, and I quote Captain Picard. And at some point, I'm going to probably quote other people. And as I see quotes here and there from certain famous people, I add those quotes to the mix. So I love these kinds of quotes. So here's the thing. Those are things that I do. And then I go in and I put them in on Twitter and I put them on Facebook. And I basically do it all my own. Matter of fact, I don't know why I'm saying basically I do it all my own. I program my tweets for some of my blog posts and I program these you know motivational things. Now, I also like to see them when other people have them online. And I have certain people that I follow more than others because by using TweetDeck, you can set up certain columns and determine who you want to follow in each of those columns. So I have that. So some of the people I've been following, I've been thinking, wow, these people have found some really great quotes. I wonder where they're getting these quotes from. And one of my friends in particular had some pretty good quotes going. The thing is, I started to say, well, wait a minute. I know him. And I know that he's not pulling these quotes out from anywhere. Where could he be getting these quotes? Because some of the people he was quoting, I happen to know who these people are. And I'm saying, how does he know who that is? Turns out, he didn't even know that he had quotes going out on, tweet or, or on Twitter. He uses some program, and I can't remember what it's called. But this particular program basically does this random thing, and it puts out quotes in you know, under these people's names. So it puts out the quote, it tells who it is, and then in uh, it's a hashtag, it'll say quote. So he didn't even know these were happening, and I guess he figured it out because a couple of times I shared a couple of quotes that he had out there, and then he said, where are you seeing these quotes? <laughs> 
So it turns out he didn't even know that was happening. And then as I started looking at a lot of other people, I noticed that quote is after it. And my thought had always been, why are they telling people these are quotes? We know they're quotes. You've got it in quotation marks and you've got a person's name. You didn't put nothing on there, so we know it's a quote. Turns out that's automated. And one of the gripes that I sometimes have is that people are using a heck of a lot of automation without actually knowing what it's doing for them. Uh, or to them, I'll say. This thing with the quotes, I gotta tell you the truth, that kinda bothers me a little bit because some of those people don't even know it's happening, which means that people are setting up things and not really following through to find out what's going on. Um, one of the conversations I've had with a couple of people is the fact that for some of them, they automatically have whatever Twitter thing that they're using to basically retweet things that people who they say they trust are putting up. Which I guess is fine because I've got a couple of people who every blog post that I have off of one of my blogs, they put it back up there. And like I said, I appreciate that, that they trust me enough to do that. But one, sometimes people are favoring that um, type of thing for people who they really haven't found out that they should trust or not. Uh, I know a couple of times I've questioned the person who's retweeting and I've asked them, did you read this post? And then when they go back and say, oh my God, no, I didn't know that was out there. So you got to, you know, be cognizant of that. But two, you know, I, I'm not going to say I put a lot of time into my post. I tend to write fast. If a blog post takes me more than 20 minutes, I really shouldn't have probably written it. Uh, unless it's like a post that I've done some research on because I, I write pretty quickly. So, you know, for me, I'm not going to sit there and say that, but there are people who probably spend, I don't know why I'm saying probably, I notice people who spend hours writing their posts with the intention and hope that someone is actually going to stop by and read the post and then cop, you know, comment on it and then share it and maybe say something like, you know, this is some good stuff you should read or whatever. And it turns out that a lot of these people who are retweeting stuff don't even read it. The other day, I put out a post, and 30 seconds later, someone was sharing it that I didn't know. And I wrote back and said, wow, that's some pretty fast reading. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. I, I mean, I understand the thing about trying to help out, and one of the recommendations people always make on social media is that you have to share. You have to be giving. But if you're just giving without participating, is it really worth all that much? I don't know. Like I said, I share a lot of stuff, but I read it because I need to make sure that anything that's got my name associated with it is exactly what I think it is. So when I was sharing the quotes, I liked the quotes, but now if I see something with that hashtag quote, I'm not sharing those things anymore. Yes, I don't know. I, it feels disingenuous. Even if it's a good quote, I, I just won't do it because there's tons of people sharing other quotes that are actually pretty good. But maybe I'm being a little obsessive here. And, you know, so I put this out there and I'll ask you. Like I said, sometimes I think, okay, you know what, this is older guy thinking. I'm looking for a little bit more honesty or realistic participation that maybe that's just not what today is all about. I don't know. I mean, there's all these people who are watching reality shows when most of y'all know that stuff's not real. <laughs> Almost none of it is real. So, that's my question to you. Let me know what you think, and we will talk again later. Enjoy.